have a great day everyone uh, this day we are going to tackle or discuss about uh, commercial culture and uh, uh, pop culture uh, utilization or the pop culture in the digital media so allow me to share my screen for a moment uh, this discussion is of, of the subject Philippine pop culture um, we will uh, contextualize the discussion of pop culture in the digital age. When you say contextualization, it will be on the uh, focus will be on the Philippines, how uh, digital world or digital, digital digitalization happens in our country. And we also discuss about commercial culture. Uh, how we utilized uh, this uh, pop culture in our country. Okay, just a few moments uh, for me to share my screen. Okay, so this time we are having the discussion on commercial, commercial culture and the pop culture in the digital world. So I have here uh, a video for you to watch and I will be asking questions. No? This will be used in, in the exit card or what we call the lesson learned. So the first question will be, give me your thoughts on the video presentation. Uh, rewrite your comment in the comment section, your insights at least one to two sentences of your insights of the video presentation. So please watch it carefully and understand. Uh, so we will have our video analysis. Bakit tayo mga itang kakulay natin ang lupa? Kaya ba marumi ang tawag din sa akin? Ang taong madumi ay ang taong hindi malinis ang puso. Nay, baka pwede mo nang palitan. Mga kaklase po, puro bagong suwot. Gusto mo ba na itago na mahirap na tayo? Alin ang karapat dapat hangaan? Isang taong madali ang buhay? o isang taong dumaan sa matinding kahirapan. O, ba't ganyan tsura mo? Gusto tuma, ganito rin yung afro ng mga basketballista sa TV. Hindi ganyan ang tuwing na buhok ng kita. Pero mas pinapansin ako ng mga kaklase ko ngayon. Kailangan ba talagang magbago para lang matanggap ka ng ibang tao?
Mr. Norman King. sa akin ng nanay ko. Kapag natanggap ko na kung sino ako, mas malayo ang mararating ko. Ako si Norman King, yung pinagmamalaki kong ako'y isang itang Pilipino. Okay, so by watching that uh, short video clip, no, uh, what lesson that you have learned from that? So that is our first question on uh, the video clip analysis. No? Uh, uh, in my case, no. Uh, what struck me on the video is the statement that uh, for a statement or a question that we need to reflect on, like the question goes like this, no. Uh, do we need to change in order for us to be accepted by our society, by the people around us? So that is a great question, no. That is a great question to be answered and to reflect on. So it's your time now to give your insights and your lessons on the first question no that is our first question give me your insights on the video clip that we presented uh what are the lessons or the lesson that you have learned from the video clip no it really talks about the culture of the aita people so how he brought the 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 culture of the aita people when he went to university of the philippines no uh, it was in the video also, uh, uh, it was portrayed in the video that uh, he has also undergo process of acceptance. You know? uh, probably he attempted to change his appearance, his physical characteristics due to acceptance in the, uh, in the society. So we are not talking about commercial culture, how that video relates to the discussion of commercial culture. So we are going to have our things to do to talk about are the mass media, the corporate producers of meaning. So what is commercial culture? There are two important terms being used here, commercial and culture. So I think we have uh, discussed the word culture. We define it uh, already into several uh, terms that we associated from the word culture. It may be a way of living. It's our practices. Uh, it is system of our life. No? But we have another word, commercial. So actually, when we when we hear the word commercial, it's all about uh, trading, uh, business, no? or or it could be associated with money, no? or services that we uh, we offer, we render, or we accept from a certain. Uh, distributor or a certain provider so when we combine the two without using or without uh, looking into the definition we have back of our mind that a culture could be commercialized no? it could be used utilized by every individual in the society and when it, it will be commercialized it will become a popular thing in our society so let's have the technical definition no? the the definition of commercial culture according to Mac Alster 2013 this refers specifically to advertising so we have a video clip earlier uh, showing the culture of Aita into the advertise uh, advertising of a certain product like safeguard it was mentioned there no uh, to change the color of a, a certain Aita to change its look so that he will be accepted in the society. So um, the product is being used to, to commercialize or to advertise and to gain more uh, users of that certain product using a culture. So advertising forms of meditated culture, culture designed to sell products. So we, uh, in the video, uh, the product, the soap product, is using a, a background of the Aita as, uh, in their culture, how they evolve, how they manage to blend with the mainstream culture.
culture. No? Another thing, one component or instrument of commercial culture is mass media. So when you say media, it is a platform no? from the word media. No? If you hear in our dialect, no, when you or when we go to a certain market, you know, we are asking our uh, when we buy something and you don't have enough money, you will just say to the the sales lady or a sales representative that you don't have enough money. I would like to buy only a media. No, uh, vernacularly we are talking about media meaning half. No, papalitara ko og media lang meaning half. So in between, so it's a platform that will deliver a certain uh, services, a certain product, commercial. So as of today, you know, uh, mass media was very uh, evident when it comes to advertising a certain product. But there are two different uh, terms used there, mass and media. When you say mass, it's, it's, it represents an entire society or a huge number of population. And media is a platform. So there are different types of mass media that could be discussed later. Okay, so let's start with the first commercial culture that is being used uh, as the platform in the delivery of that commerce, commercial culture is the mass media. So what is mass media? This is a concept. This concept was created in 1920s. It refers to various technology. So uh, in the advent of technology, no, uh, mass media started. No, it aimed to reach a vast audience because by mass communication. So when we are using the mass media, example of that are newspaper. We have the print media. No, and we have the non-print media. So there are major types of media. Media we have the non the non-print and the print media. When I say print, no, it is printed like newspaper magazines, books, and whatsoever that brings information to reach a vast audience, okay? So what is mass communication? It refers widely, rapidly, and continuously this dissemination of information. So it's a process of dissemination, disseminating and such information, like, like if, you want to pro if you want to promote something, you're using mass media. You advertise, you you commercialize, you give, you give your effort to to let somebody knows of what you want to know, what you want to deliver to your certain audience. Okay, so and messages also are being disseminated in mass communication to various and large audiences to influence them in some other way. So when we talk about printed media, media these are newspaper. Uh, books, magazines, and when we talk about non-printed, these are the broadcasting, like TV, radio, social media are part of the non-printed. According to Jack Lul, these are means to convey something. Now, if you want to convey something, no, especially if you are, if you want to become a teacher, no, you need to use mass media as your one of your platform in the delivery of instruction. As of today, because of the pandemic. No, because of the distance learning, we are using mass media as one of the platforms, one of the platforms that we are using to deliver instruction. Uh, mass media is integrated in the delivery of instruction, like what we are doing right now. We're having our online class, the online class, the online class platforms are considered as part of mass media because it's a form of uh, it's a form of disseminating an information like this, what we are doing. Okay, the major types of traditional media are print, broadcast, and cinema. So, print, as I mentioned, broadcast, it's in TV and uh, TV or radio. No, and we have also the cinema, it could be an inter entertainment form, but it could really deliver an information and message to the one who's watching the movie or the teleserial, whatsoever. No, so. To sum up the major types of traditional media, we have non-printed and printed. We all know that it is print. The broadcast and cinema are all non-printed. Okay? So what are the types of non of mass media? So the traditional media, as mentioned earlier, you know, uh, one of the oldest types of the transfer traditions and culture over generation. So meaning to say, 
this culture being practiced by a certain society or community are being uh, disseminated or being transferred to uh, one generation to another generation that is because of the traditional media now from one generation to another generation different ways of communication had been developed depends on the local language and culture so we need to say that traditional media are using their traditional language or local language and culture in order for them to easily transfer or share the culture that they had for example the beliefs the customs the rituals and practices have developed the tool of communication so if you watch or if you listen to the radio no we have a traditional radio drama series before so the 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 theme of that radio uh, drama will always base on the culture of the locality so that it, they can really uh, convince the listeners to listen the drama series because the theme and it is always uh, this their springboard of the drama series are always part of the beliefs the customs the rituals and practices of a certain local community like you no know, if you try to listen the radio before there are integration in their drama series of folk songs dances arts and festivals and many more that could really be associated on the idea of disseminating a certain culture meaning to say that traditional media like tv newspaper radio are ways in order to 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 transfer or to retain or to at least develop a certain culture so we have another one earlier we have the traditional media uh, in the invention of television and other electronic devices electronic broadcasting media like tv and radio information and content are distributed through audiovisual with the use of electronic broadcasting so when tv was uh, discovered or was been uh, used and popular no everybody is looking into it no and it will it will become a trend no I, I still remember when we have our first television it was a surplus no television but it's not it's no longer black and white no we are so lucky because uh we don't have the uh, we did not experience the black and white no when we are when we're our parents or grandparents no if you have a television before in your respective house uh you are one of the richest people or richest family in your in your barangay or your community no probably you're going to other neighbor in your neighbor for you to watch television no uh, we can still recall our our childhood uh, experiences when it comes to television when we watch anime when we watch uh different uh teleserie uh, that really that really help us to or uh that, that really uh inspire us you not know, to talk about things you know. some formats are television radio film if you can still remember we have the vhs you no know. uh in this latter we have the vct and the dvd you no know. and now we have the netflix and other platform of the internet that could really give us information okay as i said we have the print media no the the print media was been in the earliest time no uh, let us go back to the philippine culture and its history like when we were colonized by the spaniards no our reformists like the propagandists the la solidaridad the kalayaan of uh it's a sort of review of kalayaan of the cateponeros and the cartilia are being printed to disseminate information about the atrocities and abuses of the spaniards no so that it will awaken the minds and uh, the spirit of the filipino people to fight against the spaniards so that is a one way of uh having a print media on that time to disseminate information so one of the basic types of media refers to the printed information provided larger audience like it includes as i said in the previous uh, in the in the discussion we have newspapers books magazines news later uh newsletters periodicals journals comics novels and etc all are those example of printed media the most common one and the oldest form of after traditional media is the newspaper so we have also outdoor media so if you try to look at the picture on the slide no, there is an ads no 
like tarpaulins, billboards, and whatsoever that being shown outside. No, oh, that is why it is called outdoor media. It really uh, get our uh, interest, no, our time, no, while we are driving or while we are uh, riding a uh, riding a public vehicle. No, it will really get our attention because of its size, because because of its color. It really give us an information about the product. No, also known as the out home or OOH media, out ho out of home media. No, uh, it is not animated, but the picture, the color, really get our interest, our attention. No, uh, that is why uh, these big billboards are not being advised. No especially when it will have our attention when you are driving because it will really cause a distraction and may cause accidents you know? so one of the prominent type of media used for commercial and public advertising so because of the development of technology you know there were already digital billboard you no know? uh if you try to visit Butuan in the busiest uh, section of that Buntilia Boulevard, no, that in the downtown there is what it, there is, uh, well, there is a presence of the billboard, the electronic billboard, no, one of the university uh, in that place also they have their own billboard, no, you can advertise something ab about your product or whatsoever, okay. So it emphasizes on the transfer of information and use outside people's home. Everything that we, we see on the billboard will give us an information. No? Billboards, the bulletins, the banners, the tarpaulin, posters, slogans. No? Sometimes when we look along we, when we walk along the streets, there are individuals who are who are giving us flyers, no? uh, printed materials no? for them to advertise their product or their services. They have their slogan, placards, wallscapes are sometimes uh, sometimes are example of those. Another thing is transit media. No? Uh, this is very common as of today. Now, if you try to look at the public vehicle right now, they are being paid. Uh, they are being paid of of the 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 advertisement advertisement that being carried on their courier or their 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 uh, vehicle no we have witnessed that one no that is the one way one way a new way of uh, advertising and commercializing a certain product no uh, even a tricycle is bearing a product already in the top of his tricycle there is a product in being advertising uh, being advertised and it is a transit because it's a moving a vehicle that would really also caught our attention no like the, the bus, the, the public utility buses, or the tricycle, the multi-cab, taxi, no? Sometimes nga, uh, I, I, when, I war, when I was in Cebu, no? when I have my study there in Cebu, uh, there is an electronic, uh, electronic advertis advertisement in a certain vehicle, no? Uh, so that really caught us and at our attention. It refers to the content and information advertising when consumers are on the go in the public or in the transit. Examples are the bus advertising, railway advertising, taxi and transit and shelter advertising, and many more. Let's have the new media or the digital media. No, this is the one of the newest type of media that we had. Of course, it is an interactive two-way communication where users as the active producers of content and information. Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 invented the World Wide Web. So the WW or the www dot or what we call the internet source. No, The center of all media has integrated the other types of media. So that is because of the internet. So the new form are the social media. Forms include that social media, social networking sites, websites, emails, podcast virtual reality or vr to name a few and there are a lot of more pa when it comes to its format so there are six type of mass media as mentioned and the, uh, discussed earlier traditional media to repeat electronic broadcasting media the print media the outdoor media the new media or the digital media so how important is this mass media in our culture, in our daily life? No? So we are going to discuss the rules of mass media. 
So there are different perspectives and theory when it comes to the utilization and the rule of social media and the mass media itself. So the first one is the limited effect, class dominant, and the culturalist theory. So let's have the first one, the limited effects theory. It originated in 1940s to 50s. Possets that the influence of mass media is negligible. Argues that individuals rely more on personal experience, prior knowledge, and their own reasoning. So limited effects. So when there is a mass media being presented to you, it will always be based on your individual or personal experience. So, so if you experience something about the mass media, like using social media, television, emails, Facebook, internet, are all those will always depend on your own experience and your prior knowledge. So when there is something to become trending, of course, you will be more inquisitive, curious. You keep on asking. The curiosity level in your mind is very high. That is why you want also to experience that one. No? Two problems seen in this theory. It ignores the rules of media in framing and limiting the discussion and debate of issues. And the existence of theory was during when media was still not widespread. The second theory is class dominant. It put, possesses the mass media mirrors the opinions of the society elite who controls it. Meaning to say, there are different social classes in our society. In the present time, no, we the people are divided into classes like the first floor, first class citizen, second class, third class, or the upper class, the middle class, the lower class. But under that, there are sub classes under those major classes like in the upper upper middle middle uh, we have also the lower lower pagit kayo nga classes so which among the three is dominant of the social classes of course those who are in the upper class no so when you are in the upper class you have the power the authority the control no these are the elite people when you say elite they are they are rich they are influential so the one who control everything in the social media has the control, has an impact to the usage of mass media and influence the people are those who are powerful, those who are elite, the aristocrats, those who are very rich. No? So two concerns, merging of media organization and issue of sponsorship. It advocate, advocates said that quality of news depends on the journalists, and the minority of the society received full coverage and support. So there was some issues about journalism, no? So if will it will be influenced by those uh, those uh, rich people, elite people, aristocrats, oligarchs, probably the information might be distorted in the in the media, no? The mainstream media, especially those who are a huge uh, news agency that was being influenced by some few people. They might be uh, be distributing a wrong information, or, or they are uh, revising such information from facts to a fake information. No, so they could really have the chance to to distort, to change, to revise. No, uh, the entire information due to their influence. So if you are dominant in the class, or you are in the first class or what we call the upper class you can control everything because of money and because of power and authority you are, your influence could really distort such information in the media and especially in our culture next is the culturalist theory it was developed on 1980s to 1990s and integrated two theories audience are active consumers of course no the one who receive an information are the audience. When there is a propaganda, no, mga propaganda, no, uh, when there is something that will trend, no, in television, social media, the audience will really consume, will be will be interested, and they will use that certain product. No? So the one who use the product are the consumers. And they were the audience of that mass media. 
According to the culturalist theory, they argued that society interact with the mass media to create their personal meanings from the message and images that they receive. So it will only always depend. The culturalists believe and argue that our society, people are will interact with mass media according to their own meanings, according to their, the message that will communicate us, that we receive no, from that uh, uh, platform. Another one, it believed that Though the few elite controls the mass media, people tends to create their own meaning from what they saw, from what the saw influenced by personal perspective. No, as I mentioned earlier, the elite really control. When it's the elite, there's these are the rich people, the influential people, powerful people. Of course, they can influence the ordinary people, but these people, no, who receive, who consume. That mass media may also have create their own meaning, although they were sometimes there are most of the time that they were influenced by this elite individual using the mass media. The people down the line may also have their own understanding, their own meaning of what they have saw influenced by their own personal perspective. So that's culturalist theory. So I repeat, there are three: the limited effects theory, the class dominant theory, and the cultural. Theory. So, a second question for our exit card for this time. So you you explain, you choose at least one of these three theories. You pick of the three theories. What are your learnings or understanding of the uh, one of the three uh, social perspective rules of mass media? So again, I repeat, you will just choose limited effects, class dominant, or culturalist. When you can pick already. You give your comment on the comment section. You just uh, post this one. To, uh, uh, you just post in the comment section after you finish all the guide questions. There are there will be three guide questions. We are now in number two. I repeat the first. The first question is all about the the advertisement. No, uh, the short, short video clip. What are your learnings there? The second now is you need to choose at least one of the three sociological perspectives or theories on the rules of mass media and give me your insights. Okay, to proceed. Propaganda techniques in mass media. No, I think it was also discussed in your English subject, no? Propaganda. When you say propaganda is to propagate, no? Propaganda. No, if you still recall in your history, the propagandists or the reformists are writing their thoughts, their insights, their sentiments against the Spaniards, against our colonizers. They use the newspaper, the novels, and other write-up forms in order for, to convey to the Spanish government that we need to be independent. So they propaganda meaning to propagate and to convince. No, So propaganda techniques in mass media. So the, there are three propaganda techniques. I think... It was been discussed in your, in your subject, uh, uh, communication arts or English subject. No? Agenda setting influences the people on the significance or influence of an issue. Sometimes, uh, uh, one of the good uh, example of this are uh, is the campaign of the politicians. No? Uh, when they campaign using mass media, they are going to set their agenda to convince us. To influence us in order for them, in order for us to support them in their candidacy. Okay, next is priming. Prime. The issues become the basis of the people's evolution, especially for politicians. No, more likely we are giving some examples about politicians or politics. Priming issues become the basis of people's evolution. When someone is being, uh, when a politician is associated of something, uh, uh about an issue of corruption no it is in our mind already that uh, that person is not worth of our vote no that is why uh, you have here black propaganda so these are techniques but there are terms being used right now the black propaganda no or blackmailing you blackmail me or the other term the very common one is black propaganda you are uh advocating or you are advertising you're convinced convincing or you might be doing a character demolition job no that is what we call uh, paninirang puri no using the social media no uh 
sinisiraan natin ang isang tao using social media, mass media, and that is what they call propaganda. We want to convince other people that this person is a bad, a negative, doing not good. So sometimes when a certain politician is being accused of a certain issues priming to him, he would always tell the people that other his his opponent are just making a black propaganda to him or to her. So when I say black propaganda, meaning sinisiraan. No? That is not true because he's just using uh, that platform to propagate a wrong information. Okay. The third one is framing. The characterization of issues in the news can influence audience understanding of the issue, which also includes the media's biases. Um, this is a very uh, real issue when it comes to media biases. We have some, we heard some and we watch, uh, we, we, we see some discussion about uh, this giant uh, news agencies, media, television, channel, stations. Uh, to mention, no, uh, I think it's very common. Uh, that is why ABS-CBN, one of the largest uh, uh, media institution in our country, was shut down due to an issue of being biased in their news. No, they convince individual according to this discussion. No? I'm not saying that they are because there is no, there was no verdict on that issue. But probably it could really convince, somewhat, uh, it could really convince individual who is always watching a certain uh, media institution who's always telling us that this is and this, uh, this are and this, uh, this, this are the things and those are the things. So probably we are convinced. No? So that's framing, meaning we are setting in our mind. Our mind is already framed that this is the truth. So we are already convinced. So that is propaganda. So I think we're done with the first topic. The second one is the pop culture in the digital age. Now we are in the new generation, the this generation, or most of us are digital native. Now, when you say the word digital native, you are being exposed to this uh, digitalization. No, the world now is in the process of digitalization. If you don't have an exposure, of course, probably you cannot survive in this type of generations. Although those uh, those individuals who are not born in this generation that we had right now are also adjusting, adapting of the, the new culture that we have. Our culture now is all about digital world. Our life evolves always in the digital world. So that is why people in this generation is called digital native. And those who are not born and who are not able to adjust, to cope up this kind of generation, the digitalization, they are called the digital migrant. Again, we have two terms here, the digital migrants and the digital natives. When they say digital natives, you are already exposed to this kind of digitalization, to, to what we have right now. But those who are not in this generation, but they were able to cope up no, into the new setup of our culture in the digital world, they are what we call our digital migrants. They migrated, they migrated from, from the old uh, technology to the new technology that we had. So in general, this is what we call the new media, social media. So there is a need for us. This is another literacy. No, Media literacy is very important. If you try to recall in your high school years, we have what we call the media information literacy or the MIL. You are fortunate enough that you are exposed to this kind of culture. You are fortunate enough that you are born to this kind of age, uh, this digital age. And... You, what we need right now is a responsible individual who use this type of media. So that is why there is what we call digital literacy. No? Everyone should be literate of the digital world. But especially you as a future teachers. No? If you would like to become a teacher, digitalization is being integrated in the delivery of instruction. Digital education, uh, educational technology, are so important no? in the delivery of 
of the lessons. Of course, we all know that our learners right now, no, are very, um, they, they, their, their uh, attention span is very low. So that is why as teacher, you need to be creative. You need to have this literacy and digital world. Okay, to start. So what is new media? It refers to those types of media characterized by its digital technology. So everything, every, every uh, devices that we have, it is already considered as digital technology. It's low physical cost of production and distribution, according to Penn 2019. So what is this digital technology? These are all electronic tools. I think we all have possesses this kind of technology. No? Uh, it is a system, devices, resources that generate, store, or process data. So again, there are three important things in digital technology. It generates data. It will also store data. And of course, it could process data. So that's digital technology. This new media, this di digital technology really help us to ease our life, you know, to be comfortable, to make things easier. And we can make it, uh, our work makes it easier and less boredom, uh, less, less burden to us you know, because of the advantages of digital technology. This digital technology is also related to digital media. It is any form of media that is used as electronic devices for distribution, like social networks. So what are these? These are so software formats that enables individuals, groups, and com companies to communicate. All, no, although it's, no, it's not a formal ways of communication, but it's really accepted in different institutions and companies now who, who is now using social networks. No? If you are now in a workplace, you should be aware of social networks. You know how to use your emails, no? open the emails, integrate email in the ways of your communication no? from day to day, from time to time, you're checking your emails because your, your manager, your leader, your, your, your boss is communicating you through this kind of network to this kind of um, ways of communication. It, the communication really e evolves, no? develop and change. So that is why we need to adapt on that. Now, it doesn't mean that you are, no, you are already aged and you are still working and you tell your, your leader, your, your manager, that you, or your supervisor, supervisor will, you will tell them that I can no longer use the, that, that technology. So that is not acceptable in the workplace right now. So when you are working, of course, you will educate yourself about this different literacy of technology. What are virtual communities? These are networks of people who share information across the online community through the social networking platform. This is very common, Facebook, Zoom, Google Meet, whatsoever. There are a lot of things to mention a few. So. I know that you are very knowledgeable of this. You know, everything uh, you have experienced already. You know, there are pictures there in the clock. These are all uh, social media platforms. Snapchat, to mention a few. You know, Pinterest, Twitter, Google, WhatsApp. I don't know with others. No, I'm not that thick. So let's start with the types of new media. Today, Mobile application is very evident to everyone. No, evident kayo yun eh halos tanan na ah no mobile app. I think every one of us has its own mobile phone. No, commonly referred as apps. No, Sim simply called as app. No, mika unsa din nga app? Unsa nang app yung gigamit pag edit sa video? What type of uh, music video editing uh, that are you, editor that you are using? What app is that? No, nganong na change man imong naong? Nganong naman ka sa TikTok na usab-usab man imong naong? That is because of applications. Na probably the application that we had right before is just a makeup, not makeup. Types of application, it may be software designed to run a mobile device. Device Typically, small individual software units with limited functions. That is why the highly demanded uh, uh, the profession karon is in the in the mobile koan, mobile network, mobile work, no technology. You no, know, the one who developed apps, application, mobile application developer, 
Do sila gid ang mga indie man karon ug dako 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 gina sila sweldo. These types of apps are gaming apps, of course, no? Uh, whatever it, it will be trend, uh, wa unsa ang uso karon. Ano yung mga naging uso ngayon ay palaging yan uh, ay sinusunod. Uh, that's become that become a culture, no? It could it could be a lifestyle, a health uh, uh healthcare apps or whatsoever, contact tracing app, no? Today because of pandemic, it could be an entertainment app like Netflix and other movie uh, cinema platform, no? Ah, uh, naged kamali Netflix gid ang sunod. Streaming of video and audio files, okay? So Netflix is one of the video streaming uh, app, no? And other thing is YouTube. No? So I, in my case, no, I'm using the YouTube. It is very clear, no, that YouTube is one of my platform in the delivery of my instruction in the recorded lessons. I think there's nothing wrong with that, no? When we use YouTube, but as long as the students are already informed, no, you were informed that the YouTube is one way of our platform. In the streaming video and recorded lessons, no. As long as there is an approval of the students, there's nothing wrong with that, no. We ask for the permission that it will be uploaded and it only serves as an educational or video tutorials, educational uh, processes only. It includes also both commercial film and music, no, like YouTube, blogs, Netflix, Spotify, and we have also the podcast, no. The podcast could also use as an audio files. Can we also use as part of the new strategies of teaching? No, these are all learning materials. No, today, especially we are in a distance learning. No, as teachers, we need to be we need to equip ourselves. Again, I repeat, as a future teachers, we need to equip ourselves with this new media in order to integrate to our lessons, to the delivery of our class, delivery of instruction, because most of our learners of today in the new generations are no longer on the traditional way of teaching you no know, like posting a cartolina posting a manila paper that is why it is called mp4 why is it called mp4 traditionally it's not the mp4 music or video mp4 because they called it in our time when we are when we are doing this one in our college years you no know, when projectors when social media mass media print media and uh, other forms of media are now are not yet that readily available we use only manila paper you no know? if we have a lot of uh, if we have extra money we can use cartolinas you no know? because that is uh, much expensive compared to manila paper so the mp4 stands for manila paper forever on the beta max or the beta max no that was a traditional way remember that our learners right now are audio visual learners they want to see something that it's animate no there is an animation when you say animation there is a movement of text pictures no because it really caught their attention and we can always tell that no even us we don't want to see pictures only that is not moving or we don't want to see text only which is static we want something you know, move for us to caught our attention especially when you are teaching elementary you no know? when you are teaching lower years or grade lower grade levels elementary now you need to have this kind of skills you need to equip your skills you need to equip with this type of skills in order for you to motivate your students using that technology so that is why we are exposing you to this kind of new you no know, the advent of technology of another ways of delivering our lessons through YouTube and other streaming media. Next is a smart TV. No, uh, if you are enrolled in a private schools, which is having like kind of these learning materials, no, that could be really helpful in the delivery of the instruction. These are what they call the digital television. No, uh, there are some improvement of technology when it comes to television. No, panipisay na karon flat screen and it is now a hybrid TV or what we call a smart television that internet could be accessed in the television it serves like a computer no computer and online games no, so this is i think i know i don't need to explain this to you because most of you are exposed to this 
But this online games and computer games could be associated and must be utilized in a very unique and creative way and integrate in your lesson. It's up on the teacher on how to integrate and how to convince their students that they are using these online games, a game, a gaming platform, and integrate this one to their class. No, this will identify with video games. No, uh, I could still remember the floppy bird. No, the Angry Bird and all types of bird game. No, uh, before we only have the Nintendo and it developed the play PlayStation. No, we have the Mortal Kombat and whatsoever, a lot of things in our childhood. No, today, uh, I I think. If I would like to compare that one in the in the the nineties, no, uh, people are uh, the young ones are not that static. Although they have also their play game video games like tong hagbung hagbung piso, like play Mortal Kombat and whatsoever, no. But they are moving, no. Right, and and like now, most of the students, most of the people are static. That is why it really deteriorates our health because of the effect. The negative effect of the usage or utilization of computer and online games. Of course, the electronic mails. It is not new to us. Every one of you has its own electronic mails, especially when you are enrolled to SMCC. You have your G Suite account as a platform in order to you to access the different student resources like the port the student portal, the learning management system. And this is one way of communicating, you no? Know? Although we have chats. Uh, Facebook, Messenger, uh, Instagram, and what's so ad, uh, other platform of communication? No? The electronic books or the e-books, no? Uh, I think uh, today, the textbooks are no longer that in demand because of this, of the weight. No? Now, the publishers, the the... Publishing companies, the book publishing companies are now converting from the traditional e traditional textbook to ebooks. No, there are books made available in digital form. It has been look at that picture. No, it is transferred. No, a PDF or whatsoever. No, sometimes cheating right now during during the physical classroom. No, physical class is also digitalized. No, sa una ko digo panggamiton karon cellphone na. And we cannot uh, prohibit our students to not to use the cell phone because that is the only platform that we can use right now, the cell phone. So when you take your assessment, uh, of course, cheating is digitalized. You know? It's depend upon you as a student if you want to learn something and you need to be honest to yourself. And we have the podcast. You know? This is another platform, another social media platform in the Spotify we also have the Anchor FM, no? Uh, started in early 2020, 2019. It's a way of sharing information. It's uh, also a new format of radio, no? Of audio voices, uh, recorded digital audio, file made available in the internet to download in the computer or mobile device, commonly available as a series. So it's a series, no? Uh, in my case, I, saw, I also have my podcast, no? Talking about leadership, no? But for this time, no, I was not able to continue that series because of a uh, hectic schedule. Of course, uh, I think there's nothing to discuss about social media. It is very evident and self-explanatory. No? Like this one, all the logos are there. And I think you can really identify all of that because you are really exposed to the following social media sites. What is social media? It is a network effect. I think it was discussed, no? Uh, the difference of uh, social media and network, uh, social networks, no? So, social media was a subset of new media, no? But now it is entirely different platform. So, there is a percentage. So, most individual utilizes Facebook, top of the rank, then followed by YouTube, the FB Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, and the like. More than half of the world's population use social media. Imagine 3.96 billion in the world are using social media. And I think when we rank all countries, when it comes to utilization of social media, I think Philippines is number one. I don't I don't have the data, but that is my furless, furless broad, uh, furless uh, assumption 
that the Philippines is number one in social media. We are very present every time. I think we spend a lot of time of social media, in our social media, rather going into our daily life activities. So I think uh, two-thirds of our time, no? when we talk about two-thirds, that's 16 hours no? of the 24 hours. I think we really spend a lot of time for social media and that becomes a culture to us. No? Imagine every time you wake up, the first thing that you will look into is your cell phone and check your social media accounts. And that is our daily routine. I don't know if it is true to you. In my case, it is. So I, I accept on that because sabi nga nila, kinain na tayo ng sistema ng social media. But I think, no, uh, my last my last question, my last guide question for our exit card is all about social media. So this is all about social media. The question goes like this, no? What are the effects of social media in our daily life? It might be a negative or positive. You can cite that all. What are the effects of social media in our daily life? I repeat, what are the effects of social media in our daily life? So let's proceed now to types of social media. The media network specializing on distribution of content like photographs and videos. Examples are YouTube and Instagram. No, Because you cannot all media network. No, uh, In Instagram, you cannot post without pictures or video you cannot post a text only and like in facebook you can post text in messenger in twitter no but in media network no there is a need for you to use a video or a picture so social network focuses on the chains and connection of ideas and thoughts and contents with other users examples are facebook twitter and like and then the ideal platform for in-depth discussion and allows conversation to grow is the discussion network. Example are Quora, Reddit, and WordPress. Review network enables users to give reviews for products and services and allows interaction as well as help and Yelp and Glassdoor. Social blogging network. So this is very common. No? I, I do this one. No? Presently, I have my blogs. I have my tutorials in my YouTube channel. No, I'm also doing this for educational purposes and for my own. No, there's nothing wrong with that. No, I also encourage people like you, as a future teacher, to to do social blogging for educational purposes and to help every individual to propagate communication, or propagate information through information, no real information that could really help our learners, our clients, and whoever in the community. It allows people to create content. No, for their audience and help them discover the content, no, the how-to in life, the life skills, the uh, tips, no hacks, student hacks, or whatsoever. So I think I'm done already to re to repeat. No, the types of social media are the following: social media network, social network, discussion network, and review network, and social blogging network. So those are five. So I think. I hope that you have learned something from this uh, session about the commercial culture and the digital age, the pop culture and the digital age. So don't forget no, to also like the video. If you, you were not able to subscribe, you also are encouraged to subscribe to watch more video uh, related to educational uh, processes and educational uh, videos, especially in pop culture. So again, I'll repeat, there are three questions, guide questions for you to answer and to post that one in the comment section down in order for me to check your exit card. So I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Keep safe and God bless everyone.